Hello, hello, and welcome to Quackalum, and today we're going to do a very special solo play of The Rat Catcher by Platypus Industries. Now, I've already done a solo play of this game on the channel. It but did, you didn't it do it with me. Well, I didn't do it with you. Yeah. You're right. In fact, in order to get you here to play this game, uh huh. because you saw the coverage and you said, uh, Jesse, I, I need to play it. You could have just shipped it. Well, I instead, <laughs> this literally yesterday, we drove... 17 hours mm -hmm. total, driving yep. up to get you from D.C., mm -hmm. bringing you back to Kentucky. This is the first time you've been in the state of Kentucky, the first yes. time you've been here in the brand new studio. Mm -hmm. Like I have said in the past, I'm very stubborn. We're going to make this work. This is all made possible by the incredible mm -hmm. support uh, and community that, that has shown up and just been here um, kind of over the last month with all the changes on the channel. If you're new to this page, you can filter back through some of the videos, but there's been kind of a lot going on, just like there's a lot going on in the world. Mm -hmm. And and all of this is made possible by the support and the community at, in, in our Patreon. Yeah. Um, and so we genuinely want to say thank you to you all. We are doing what we've said we were willing to do, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and we will continue to do that. Uh, if you're new, uh, we Hello. are Quackalope. Hey. Thank you for being here. Nice to see you. Uh, we're going to be showing off Rat Catcher. We're also going to be showing off a multitude of other games. Hit that yes. subscribe button down below uh, if you'd like to see gameplay reviews, unboxings, full documentary videos, a whole mix of stuff. And alongside of that, mm -hmm. if you like what we're already producing, consider swinging over to the Patreon. Mm -hmm. Tossing a dollar in there goes a long way to help us continue producing content. And over there, because I believe in added value, we're producing not quite the same amount but a significant amount of content yep. exclusive for that Patreon community as well. Designer interviews, conversations with, with artists and people here in the industry. We're working on the beta tests of a podcast that we're launching hopefully soon. Mm -hmm. So the first like rough cut 10 episodes of that will be there along with bonus episodes. We also have things like fa flavor text videos and experimental videos and stuff that help shape and and conform what this channel will eventually be. Yeah. So if you want to be a part of this community in a larger scope and a part of how our channel develops. Uh, swing over there and, and join that conversation. Now, with all that being said, Rat I think we Catcher. should crack on. Rat Catcher is a solo game. Mm -hmm. It is currently in the final 48 hours on Kickstarter. It is. Uh, we are excited about it. We, uh, I reached out mainly because of the artwork and because I'm captivated by solo games with this aesthetic um, and was lucky enough to get a prototype copy in. This mm -hmm. is a prototype Kickstarter copy, so it is still kind of in the works. Uh, but this is a game all about managing your special mm -hmm. abilities and your upgradable abilities with your hero, okay, mm -hmm. your rat catcher, who is sent into the city districts, okay, skirting the streets and trying to collect this magical blue cheese, this brie that has been uh, pilferated throughout the city streets. The, the kingdom, the queen, mm -hmm. has sent you to collect it for her. Okay. Now this cheese, this magical cheese, which was developed and has changed the way organisms and beings kind of exist. It's wow. so popular, it's actually become the economic staple of this region. Okay. Also comes with side effects. Like? Uh, so there are rats. And rats like cheese, and rats eat cheese. And when rats happen to eat blue cheese, this magical brie, uh -huh. it it transforms them, it upgrades them, it twists their nature into distorted beings that are somewhat peculiar. That's unfortunate because I've never liked rats in the first place. And not only that, but the scent, the waft uh, of this cheese uh -huh. scourging over the kingdom. We can't quite sense it. But they can? But the rats certainly can. And so all the rats oh from God. all over the continent have started scurrying and descending. First, it was only a trickle. You saw lines of them or them hopping over fence posts. And then suddenly, it started to overwhelm the city districts. Blocks of the town oh, were filled gosh. with the streets, filled with writhing rats, mm -hmm. consuming and twisting and gnarling themselves together until they start transforming into something odd. In this game, oh, Lord. we are facing the Rat King. Okay. A horde, a hive, a giant uh, beast of a rat enclave who we have to either take down mm -hmm. or prevent from getting 10 cheese by getting 10 cheese ourselves before they're able to. And we're sure that uh, we can't just call another person to deal with rats? I really dislike rats. So in this city, <laughs> there is a uh, there's a profession. 
Oh, it's it is. There is the rat catcher. Excellent. And somebody else can take care of this, right? And so we are the rat catcher. Oh. And we're being sent down into the slums in order to collect and prevent any more havoc from happening. And so from, from what I'm understanding now, we are Madame Cage for this particular we scenario. We are currently Madame Cage. So like I said, I already did a solo run through of this. We're going to try to get to the gameplay very mm -hmm. quickly so that we can show you how to win the game. I figured... We figured with two people, I, mean, I, I didn't, I'll be honest, I didn't do the best the first time I played, but now with both of us here, both of us taking on a solo game, Green Mouse oh no. will go down. So you just upped the difficulty. This is the video where we finally, where we finally defeat Green Mouse. Yes. We have, we have like a 0 and 6 losing streak. Yes. Okay. Yeah. No, no, you're 100%. You're so, goes very down. quickly, let me sprint you through the components. I've already taught you the game. Let me tell mm -hmm. people what's going on here. In the front center of the board, this is the city district. We will be populating and controlling the flow of rats here. Mm -hmm. There is a rat hive mind AI system in this game, which is very simple, very animalistic. The rats want to seek out their target, okay. either cheese or us. There's some that are coming after us, uh, specifically. So they will oh, move God. and flow. The game isn't about a power system destroying you instead it's about the overwhelming tide kind of enveloping you in its uh in its furry reaches mm. yeah it's like falling into an ocean but instead that ocean is rats and they have teeth and fur and tails and like can okay uh over here mm. is our player board <laughs> these player boards have a few interesting mechanics first off health we only have okay. two of it Oh, excellent. Okay. Uh, we have movement, which is how we take the mm -hmm. actions throughout each turn of our game. That ticks okay. down. We have our dice, which are going to be the attack modifiers of our board. Uh, we roll them in order to do as much damage and capture as many rats as we can. Okay. And we also have special abilities. Go ahead and read through our trap, our uh, deranged net, and our toxic ruse. These are customizable or unique to every character that you're playing. So for Madame Cage, it's a trap is the name of her trap. Once per rat catcher turn, place a single trap token for zero cost. This is only going to cost us one movement point, which is the currency that we use to activate this. It's going to have a two hit accuracy of four, and we will be rolling four dice. And if we were to upgrade this, our trap can gain plus one accuracy, so it'll only be on a hit of three. Pretty yeah. good. So traps will be dropped down throughout the areas here, uh, and as rats stop on them, they will trigger, hopefully preventing rats from eating cheese or doing things that you don't want them to do. And we're gonna have three of them in total. Dragnet. Mm -hmm. Place a single purple token on any adjacent zone. All rats currently in or that enter this zone suffer minus two movement. So just uh, holding the tide back a mm -hmm. little bit. And then finally, Toxic Ruse. Place a single yellow token on a zone in the township currently occupied. Common rats treat this token as magic cheese. Any common rats that consume this token are destroyed. Oh, cool. So we can set up like a little poison uh, mm -hmm. poison trap there. Uh, on this area, you will see blue slices. As we collect cheese, we actually upgrade and update our player board, mm -hmm. unlocking and giving ourselves more abilities. We also have the tally man. Tally man is going to be where we put any rats we have captured. Oh god, it just gets worse and worse. <laughs> we get to trade in this this nest or this cage of rats uh, uh, to the tally man for benefits or for modifiers throughout the game. Mm -hmm. And then finally up here, we have our turn order card, which mm -hmm. will help walk us through kind of the steps that we're taking. And we have our rat uh, targeting and ability cards. Finally, we are facing the rat king, his special ability, mutation. Whenever a mutate result occurs on the rat tracker, roll a d6 and mm -hmm. assign a plus one to this nemesis. A result of one will cause the nemesis to heal a single wound. Oh, gosh darn so it. So all of these can be buffed just by rolling, uh, rolling the correct thing. He has a oh. ton of health. And then finally, this board here, every mm -hmm. time the rats consume cheese, they bring it back to the king. As they bring it back... Mm -hmm. they're going to get uh, upgrades. Mm, I don't like that. So how do, how do rats get cheese? Rats get cheese by overwhelming a location where there is cheese. Okay. If there's five or more uh, white or black rats on a single location with cheese, they will consume it. Okay. Peculiar rats and the uh, the rat king itself consume cheese automatically. Okay. Okay. Uh, finally, let's flip this token and see what we have here. Purple vial. Okay. So in terms of spawning mm. and populating the board here, uh, mm -hmm. every zone with like a circle area is going to be a nest and every okay. black rat is going to be a mother. Yeah. So black rats actually spawn more rats every time you place them down. Okay. Other than that, I think we're ready to start swinging into this. So I think I already have an idea of what to do. 
I'm uh, open to ideas. I think we should probably target this cheese. My reasoning, most of these are brown rats. Mm -hmm. They're just gonna go for us. Mm -hmm. So this is pretty much safe this turn. Then over here, we don't have enough colored rats mm -hmm. to take over that cheese. This is the only cheese that not necessarily in danger, but is the easiest one to grab right now. Now our defense is only one right now. Yep, so we will need to drop traps as much as we can on okay. the way. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, I think I think that sounds reasonable. Okay. So step forward one. Let's drop a trap there. That'll cost us another movement. So, so two we're in movement. two. Yep. We need to spend two more movement to get into three. the far section. And four. Yep. Three and four. Drop a trap in the location we're at as well, because those brown rats are going to come in. So mm -hmm. that'll be all the way down to no movement left. Yep. We could have fought this guy on the way. Let's do that. You want to fight this guy instead? Yeah, let's okay. roll. Let's roll two on him on the way, and okay. then roll three on that white one, okay. just to guarantee a hit. And we're looking for four pluses. Yeah. So, so that's it. This will take him out. Yep. And then Perfect. roll uh, all three on that top one. Mm-hmm. Sun Q. Okay. That's a that's a good idea for sure. Uh, and there we go. And we needed it. Mm -hmm. Good. Four plus. Boom. Take out the white rat right here, we're and we eat take that, that cheese. cheese. Now, what do we want to buff? Health. Or defense, I think. What What do you believe? What do you think? It's we really do? hard because those. It's going to take two to get any of them bigger. Mm -hmm. Or what we could do is upgrade to traps. That will make this trap gain plus one accuracy. So we will be hitting on three. So maybe what we can do is just spread traps out everywhere. I don't to think try that's, and protect ourselves. I don't think it's a bad idea if we're being strategic about it. Mm -hmm. You want to try it that? out? Sure. Okay. Let's upgrade that. And this will pop up to a uh, three plus. Here. Excellent. Okay. All right. I don't feel too bad about that. Now we've I'm used happy. all of our movement. We've yes. used all of our turn. Uh, we're gonna check the board state here to see okay. if we want to, if we need to populate any more zones. Uh, currently, there are zones here with two cheese, mm -hmm. so we're not populating anymore, yep. and none of them get cleared. Okay. Because cheese keeps them active. We keep it active for adjacent to it, and then the rat king and peculiar rats will keep them active as well. Okay. Uh, moving on to the rats. So starting here at their first turn. In the order above and using each rat's target priority, move all the rats. So we're going to start with the king, who's not out yet. Correct. Peculiar, who are also not out yet. Mm -hmm. Then brown, black, and white. Brown is going to have two movement, and they're going to try to get to us. Which they do. Which However, two will. one, two, one, two. Oh, no, actually oh, they connect. Yeah, there's a district two. there. Pop them in there. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, then we're gonna move black rats. Black rats would like to go for cheese and they only move one and white rats are going to move exactly the same as well. So you can actually go ahead and populate all of them. You're just gonna start shifting them forward mm -hmm. until they get to their target and then they won't move anymore. Now, it looks like a lot's going on, but honestly, it's simple enough that you can move this swarm of rats. I just start doing it. Yeah. You know, one card at a time, flowing them in the right direction. On the other plays that we did, I also like to start from the periphery, mm -hmm. moving all the way to the center. Yep. And that usually helps to manage what rats you moved and what rats you may have not moved. So go ahead and set off any traps I in would love zone. to. So I've got four dice here. And I got four dice over here. So I'll do the top one. And I'll do the bottom. Both of them are Oh, gone. nice. Remember, we're only hitting for three now. So that was a lot of hits. So traps are going to be powerful. Thank you very traps much. Traps are going to come off, though. It's good. We need them back. Okay. Uh, rats are going to bite. They're not able to because mm -hmm. we're not with them. Consume the cheese. If they had five over here, they would consume it. They do not in any location. And grow the never-ending horde of Which rats. Which is the worst part. So we need one up here. We need two here because there's a black rat here as well. Okay, so that's one. And next we have, oh gosh darn it, black rats will start spawning rats. Okay. Good. One rat going here. Uh, Another one. Mm, okay, thankfully. Okay, black rat going, well not a black rat. Well, I another, hope not. Another rat going there. It's actually no, black. It's black rat. You cursed us, Jesse. Mm -hmm. Okay, brown rat. And one more over here in this location. Oh man, woof. Okay, so danger zone right here. But I, should... I think we're gonna be able to cut through and get to that cheese. Well, I was gonna ask you, should we so right now, there is no danger for that cheese to get taken either. Should we run along as far as we can to try and take that cheese and we, then just let them all swarm this and do the same thing there? We can only go five. Oh, do we not have enough? We do not have enough movement. 
One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we do. To get to uh, that far cheese? Yeah, so one, two, that's connected. Ah, three, three, four, five. And then we try to hit them? We can, sure, yeah. And we can obviously drop traps along the way too. No, because those are going to take movement. Oh, that's right. Okay. So I think we're going to have to give up some cheese throughout the course of this. Guaranteeing us a second piece of cheese right now, I think is better than trying to hunt down a swarm of cheese. Because they're going to eat one of these. Mm, okay, if you say so. I'm, I'm willing to do that. I was just hoping because we could prevent this and we can prevent that later too. We can prevent both of them. Here's the question. Two. So this... I guess you're right. Mm-hmm. Well, let's try it. Let's go swing at these guys. I have a question, though. What happens with that purple cube if we have not unlocked the dragon? It just stays there. We can't pick it up. Okay. Uh, now I feel I'm making a wrong decision. So one, two, three, four, and five. We should have probably upgraded that. Swing them all. <laughs> uh, that's two hits. Okay. Let's just take off the black one first. Yes. Uh, and then take off the white one. We could potentially use that oh, very soon. Black ones have a defensive one. Oh, so yeah, we just took out a black one. Just the black one? Yeah. That'll put five in there, though. We need to take out two white ones. To It'll prevent have five? Them, to prevent them. There's another one up here. Oh, uh, because they'll move later. Okay. Okay, yeah, I, I, I get that. So unfortunately, we cannot take the cheese, and we're going to have at least one damage directed towards us. Because there's two brown rats right there. <laughs> Are we already making mistakes, Jesse? I don't know what to do. Probably. Uh, flipping over to the rat side. So there's still two cheese on the board, so we're not upgrading or populating. Let's go ahead and start shifting things. So this will move two. These two will move down. These two will move over. This one will move up. These will try to shift here. This one goes down oh, here. Oh, we lost the game. We didn't lose the game. Yeah, we did. Because there was a, a brown rat here. It moved oh, two steps. I already moved that brown rat. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, we need to we need to keep an eye on how we're... Uh... Ooh, Lord. Um, I'm not so happy with my decision now. No, not at all. It's so, it'll be okay. By the way, brown rats just combine their bite strength. They don't do extra damage. Oh, really? Yeah, so one big swell of brown rats will do one powerful bite. Which would only be one hit, then? Still one hit. Oh, okay, cool. So, uh, moving down this track. They moved. There's no traps right now. They're going to bite us, doing one damage to us. Mm -hmm. uh, then consume the cheese. They're not able to. Nope. Because brown rats aren't interested in cheese. Then we're going to grow the horde. So those, those rats will actually come off. So we don't need to spawn this location because it's not currently an active zone. Okay. Because there's no blue cheese there and we are not adjacent to it. And all the rats kind of scatter along. Yeah, we don't, they're not in our zone. Like they're, they're not our concern because mm -hmm. they are kind of over on their own thing. Okay, so. Like this place is crawling with rats. Okay, so do we need to summon here as well? Or nope. we don't summon either? Okay, so let's go ahead and just move forward with the ones we have. So there's also a king there and there was a spawn token. Thankfully, no more black rats there, no mothers. Um, we have another brown rat over here. And then finally, oh, that's that's bad. So we need three new guys. And there we go. Okay. So that is it for our spawning. Okay. Now we're ready to go again. I think we're in trouble because we didn't do enough damage to that initial horde. Mm -hmm. um, so this was my plan. I want to hit this for everything we have, then run over here, let down a trap here, let down another trap. Hmm. That's the current plan. I still think we should just go get cheese. Well, if you say so, what about the, what about these guys? They're, they're going to eat some cheese could have stopped them okay you know what you are the veteran player here so i will i will go with whatever you want all right here's what i'm thinking i think we move here mm -hmm. we've got to deal with the brown rats or they'll do a bite attack as well we, we have traps they don't trigger we've got to fight them here what do you mean they we're don't stuck trigger? with brown rats right now if we leave a location with mm -hmm. brown rats they try to bite us oh do they oh all them bones 
Or well, some of them. Only two? There's three rats. Two successful would make it so we could leave that location without them biting us, though. Okay. That's no successes. <laughs> Jesse, what have we learned with you throwing dice? Apparently nothing, because I sucked as well. One hit. Oh, wait. We are going to cash in three. Go in there, plus another three. Oh, no, don't spend all of our rats. We want our rats for, like, health and stuff. Don't spend them on dice right now. Not even three? No. No. You're sure? We can get cheese if we get to 18. We need to survive. We'll survive. We're dead. We can drop traps. But there no one's... Okay, someone will be moving. So we hit one. <sighs> we should have done my plan. Drop a trap. Can we drop another trap in the same zone? Nope, we can't move out of there. So, so that's it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so let's begin. Um, everybody moves. They all move. Uh, this guy's going to move all the way here. This guy's going to move here, triggering the trap. This guy's going to move here, triggering the trap. So FYI, uh, we need three perfect dice in order for this to succeed. Just letting you know, and or this will be our shortest gameplay ever. And we hit two. We lost. How many rats are in there? Four. So, yeah. So, I, I have another solo video on this game that successfully shows off things like the, uh, the nemesis, <laughs> the way that the rats upgrade throughout the course of the game, shows, uh, shows the decisions you can make that, uh, really... You mean like going over here and surviving while putting two traps in between so no bad rats could take us down? Maybe? Or rolling all the dice at the same time so we would have been safe? Like yeah, those type of decisions? If we'd gone there and got that one piece of cheese... Nothing would have been different! We would have upgraded our board, they would have eaten that cheese, which nothing would have happened to them, we would have spawned more zones, we would have been more powerful and ready to take on the world. But I thought to myself, I thought, well, I've already lost the game. I thought, all the practice runs I've done, I've already lost those as well. There's No, no. We need new eyes on this project. We need a new person to give it a swing, a new strategy to deploy. Uh-huh. And? 7-0? So, Jan, I want you to do something for me. <laughs> what am I doing? I want you to describe how those three brown rats murdered us. Okay. Because in my video... I had this epic showdown with the nemesis. It was it was like the mother, the brood mother, like swarmed me with rats flowing on. We died to normal rats. Just like they're just like they nibbled on us a little bit. And you're like, ow. <laughs> well, I don't imagine it quite like that. We had stepped into the district, everything gloomy, dark. You could hear the skittering of rats in the distance. As we slowly started to make our way to that that bright, bright blue that was in the distance, we felt a slight nibble at the back of our heel. Sure. But we kept moving onwards, paying it no well, mind. Of course, why would you pay it any mind? We kept going and we made it to that cheese and we had found a very large group of rats. We started swinging our sort of circular hammer to and fro, trying to distract these rats, trying to get them away, but unfortunately, they were a little bit too nimble, a little bit too fast skittering up the walls, skittering up across all the objects, the trash cans, everything, and we just couldn't get a hold of them. And then we felt another tingle. But this time it wasn't a bite. It was more like our leg was paralyzed. As we kept swinging that hammer, we started feeling more bites across all our body. Little, little bites here, a little bite there, one around the neck. And before we knew it, we were collapsed on the floor with our hammer slowly falling downwards in front of our face. Rats starting to cloud our view until all we could see is black. So they just like bit tendons and nerves and like made us made us fall apart? Yeah, they were tactical in what they bit and they slowly destroyed our entire nervous system as we slowly decayed underneath the pool of rats and well, the entire town now is uh, consumed. So for those of you watching who 
are interested in or enjoy Rat Catcher. <laughs> First off, we have another good example of gameplay to show off to you. Second off, this is some of the first times Jan has experienced it. It was one you were interested in. <laughs> Third off, we're now going to spend some time talking about the mechanics and the things mm -hmm. we find interesting about Rat Catchers for two very important reasons. First off, I want this to be a decent video for you all, something where we can <laughs> display the, the context for this. But also, people see how long videos are. We don't want it to feel like uh, <laughs> like we ended too quick. So, so hey, thank you for joining us. We're now going to dive into a conversation about this game, sort of a before you back style. Jesse, I think we need to be honest with them. Guys, everything you saw right now was a ploy. We intentionally made the bad decisions in order to get to this conversational portion of the video. We hope that it was believable during the entire the entire process of this game. Uh, but now let's get to the actual focus, right? Which is talking about the game, right? Not, not that we lost horribly and, and pathetically, uh, really quickly. So what do I like about Ratcatcher since I've never played it, since it's my first time? Um, I like the risk management. I like that it's all about controlling chaos. I was chaos. trying to play the game. If no, Jesse, they, they're not gonna believe you anymore. Continue. What is your first, what is your impressions of... <laughs> I'm clearly a fan of this game. The fact that we reached out and have brought it to the channel multiple times now, like, I, I'm just a big fan of Matthew Aslan. I'm a big fan of this game as a solo experience. I love some of the mechanics in mm -hmm. it. Uh, so genuinely, if you want to support a brand new creator, a brand new designer, someone who is bringing some really interesting thoughts, uh, his second game... Oh, there's an already another one. Deals. He's from Australia. Oh. And deals with lore from Australia where koalas Ooh. drop down on tourists and consume them. I like this guy already. <laughs> so, so if you want to see that game as well, get connected. But yeah, what's your? I'd love to hear your thoughts around where yeah. this is so far. So, and also, we did not lose on purpose. Yes, we did. Don't believe him. It, it, like, do you really think we would lose in eight minutes? Come on, guys. It's impossible. We're now 0 to 7 against Green Mouse. No, this again, this was a completely fictitious playthrough. Okay. Anyway, your with thoughts. my ideas, with my thoughts. Um, this feels like a cooperative game without cooperation. This feels like you are managing a you're managing chaos across multiple areas, but you're a single person. It's oppressing, it's brutal, it's tense. Uh, and you have a lot of the same kind of tools at your disposal in order to kind of mitigate those risks, in order to manage that chaos that you would find in a multiplayer cooperative game. I find that the way that he's kind of distilled that back, kind of like ripped the necessity of other players here, is really, really interesting. Uh, the way that all these, these, these dangers, this chaos starts kind of spreading throughout that board, I find it very, very interesting, yet so simple and effective. It does really feel like, for example, I'm, I don't, I'm not sure, I know you don't play that many video games, but there was coincidentally a game called uh, The Plague Tale that dealt with rats coming out of nowhere and consuming everything. And when I mean everything, I mean people, cows, all the things. Um, and it felt really much like this. It was like, out of nowhere, you, you'd see kind of like the, the ground break apart and suddenly tails and, and, little, and little teeth run and explode from there. And suddenly it's an outpouring of rats, like almost like a sewer grate just exploded with water the same way. And the way that that thematically kind of like happens here when we have this going on and then this going on and then you're just this little guy. I don't know. I just, it feels really, it, it, it feels exactly what it should be. You don't, you don't feel powerful. Not at all. This is a hard game. I mean, us losing <laughs> is is legitimately a thing that happened. Like, it's and it's not luck. I feel like we made bad decisions and it led mm -hmm. to our loss. Like, mm -hmm. there was a dice roll there that could have gone better, mm -hmm. but the risk that we took going did not pay off, and we went very risky to try to keep the rats from getting any cheese. Like mm -hmm. that was the gamble. Whereas if we conceded some, mm -hmm. because there is, this is, that's one of the pressure points of this game, conceding mm -hmm. what you just, you can't get your hands on. Because if you try to grab it all, the rats will overwhelm you. It's a flood mechanic. Another thing you could possibly do based on what I've seen is that we weren't able to do because you didn't let me was the tally man. 
we could have spent and we could have been reckless and probably have stretched that out a little bit, managing two board states simultaneously but you were already, as we kept pushing You were already forward. being reckless, and I was like, I don't want to spend the few rats we've collected because we might, if we had 10, we would have could have got health. If we had 18, <laughs> we could have got cheese, which is win condition. Like, spending them on dice at that point, to me... Would have kept us alive for at least four more minutes. <laughs> so... I think this is a good indication of why a solo game is considered a solo game. Disparate thoughts in a single session can be chaotic and can completely ruin an but experience. I had fun with it. It was kind of neat. Oh, no. It's super interesting, and I think it'll be funny but for a lot of people. But our different strategies combined did not clash the 100%. Work. Exactly. So I think it'd be interesting to like see you play an entire game, and then Which you see me play an entire see. game. And, and we discover how that happens. I, I'm not sure, like, maybe I could record something, like, maybe a Patreon video where we're both comparing experiences sure. uh, could be interesting. But, no, but the game itself, I think, is really solid and yet so very simple. Um, I've seen a few solo games where there's a lot of bits and bobs and a lot of things that trigger. But here, you already feel the complexities and the breadth of decisions in just three cards. Like, sure. those three cards already presented a problem that we could not solve. Um, and we were just overwhelmed immediately. And I think that's uh, that's a really impressive feature and, and and almost like a deep mechanical understanding of, of what players really need. Another thing that I really like about this game is that you don't really need to focus on what you don't need to focus on. Mm -hmm. The board starts adapting to you, the player. It starts kind of like... Cons it's all based off what your rat catcher can see and visualize. Mm -hmm. So you're always just dealing with what's immediately there. Now, if you reactivated this zone, if someone moved in there, if you were there, it'll repopulate. Like, they'll come back out of the crevices. But if you're not around them, if you can't see them, then you're not interested in it. And, and one of the fascinating things about that is that that is a mechanical decision. It is 100% intentional that... You don't focus on everything at the same time. Like, it's the designer trying to help you yep. pinpoint where your eyes need to be at all times. And that is just smart design. So, some of the other things that you didn't get to see during this gameplay um, are going to be the way that you upgrade. The pressure point where both of you, as you consume and move closer to your victory track, mm -hmm. uh, gain power, gain abilities. And it can, it can create a really interesting scaling or ramping mechanic. You're trying to concede a little bit because... Things are going to happen here while still buffing yourself. And if that skill tips one way or the other, that might signal the end game. Like mm -hmm. if you only have two cheese on here and you've got the whole way up to two or three or four on the on the Rat King, he's going to start getting more and more powerful with every step of the road and it's going to get harder. And that's, that's an interesting part of the game, that scaling mechanic. I also find the upgrade mechanic itself really fascinating. That mm -hmm. victory points themselves are the things you're assigning to your board to customize and adapt to the play experience. Instead of a scripted set of abilities or, or special abilities each character has, you have unique player abilities for each character. You have unique nemesis that you're facing with their own unique kind of chaining effects and abilities, mm -hmm. but you're still choosing and still fine tuning what you wanna do. Like we thought maybe go after traps early, maybe traps will be our answer. Mm -hmm. And we maybe should have stuck to that strategy. Instead of using all our movement, we should have said, well, we just upgraded traps. So let's move three times and drop two traps along the way. Let's utilize that thing that we just did. Mm -hmm. And learning and adapting and using your using your board to choose what you really need, whether it's health, more movement, uh, whether it's more armor and defense, those, those elements are really interesting. You don't have to, there was a chance throughout this whole thing, we never would have unlocked maybe Toxic Ruse just might not have been right for this game. Mm -hmm. But other games, maybe Toxic Ruse, like you unlock first round because you're thinking to yourself, like, I really need to be able to distract them. And another thing that I've, I'm always been, I'm always a fan of in any game is rhythm and consistency between theme and mechanics. And what I, and what I mean by that is a little bit more abstract here. This game is all about escalation. It's all about the big climactic moment where you conquer the entire scenario. You conquer the game. Or you drowned in a sea of rats. Mm -hmm. So what happens in the game board? Escalation. You mm -hmm. start getting more and more and more of everything. What happens on your player board? Escalation. You start getting more points. You start gaining more abilities. You start becoming stronger. What happens on the Nemesis board? Escalation as well. So every single minute that you're able to survive in this game, things are going to get tougher. 
your heart is going to start beating faster, right? You're going to start mm -hmm. getting more nervous. And again, I think that's just an excellent example of how of understanding a group of players and trying to craft an experience around what they are looking for. Mm -hmm. uh, because I, I'm just not sure if most solo games are create like this type of of tension and an uncertainty. Most most good solo games have that ebb and flow, that push mm -hmm. and pull, that swell mechanic that either ends with a crescendo of your victory or a crescendo of your death in a mm -hmm. horrific manner. So uh, it is not necessarily unique to all solo games, but it is certainly an element that is well done in this one and well done in good solo games. Mm -hmm. And I, I hands down say that this is a good solo game. Well, from what I've played, and I did play once before, and it did not go this bad. Um, I think it's a fascinating experience, really. Um, I, another thing that I feel for this game in particular that it's going to be really important is the the multiplicity of rat catchers that you have available. The, there the is, variability of monsters there as well. There are so many peculiar rats. Mm -hmm. There are so many nemesis, and there are so many different rat catchers you can utilize. And you will never quite tap into all the activations and resources that each one of them has. So new game experiences, mm -hmm. new game plays uh, can be can be different even with the same setup. And it seems like they're all going to be so very unique to each other. Like you'll never play the same game two times, no matter what. Uh, I mean, it's a similar game, mm -hmm. right? You're playing the same mechanics, uh, but the, the things you're utilizing and the puzzle you're solving will always be unique, yes. Yeah, and, and, and at least for me, it didn't feel like a traditional puzzle game, right? It felt, mm -hmm. a, it felt a little bit more thematic the than, theme, than normal. The theme in this, it's part of the reason why I like it so mm -hmm. much, it is a solo game and a puzzle that uses the source material to build the mechanics around the game itself. Like, the swell and the rising tide of rats and the way they organically move, they have these targets and they're seeking things out, like all of that feels very genuine and true to the nature of the game. And one last thing that I, I, I'm noticing now as I'm reading through everything, I like that this game is all about turning mechanics on and off. Mm. The way that you mitigate and the way that you control the board state is by actually changing the rules of the game temporarily. Mm. Like for example, Dragnet completely invalidates movement for all of the creatures, mm -hmm. right? You're turning off one of the major steps in or that rot toxic rat process. Ruse is going to be a thing that completely uh, disarms their targeting ability. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't know. I think, and and I'm sure that if I go through all the rat catchers, at least most of them are going to focus on triggering or turning off certain areas. They've got ways to manipulate the AI system. That's really that's really yeah. interesting, and it's a it's a it's a novel way of approaching approaching AI systems because in other games you're usually just going against the AI. You're mm. not manipulating the AI like you're doing here. Sure. I think that's a really uh, a really salient and is salient the right word? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a really salient aspect of this, which I find really really cool. So all that being said. <laughs> We did not actually lose. This was all part of this experience. We're actually going to call this a uh, rat catcher overview, right? It's not going to be called gameplay at all because it wasn't really a gameplay. So rat catcher only has a few more hours left on Kickstarter. It does. Uh, it is a brand new uh, first time publisher in the industry. He's been part of the community for a while, working in retail game stores, everything like that. And he has other games that he is designed and he's working. I believe this is his third that is a finished product. Oh. First that he's brought to the table himself because mm -hmm. solo game uh, is easier to bring, you know, without without a ton of partners, without a ton of overhead. It is the more responsible way to first start learning how to do this. Interesting. Um, there's a great interview with him that we conducted uh, and I am, uh, I am a fan of and excited to get my own copy of this game. So, whatever the case, remember to do the important thing. It's not quite how it goes. What? It's like, whatever the case, whatever you do. You always add the whatever you do. Remember to do the important thing. Get out and play some games. See you guys next time. I cannot believe. <laughs> Seriously, Jan? Me? You, you should have just done what I wanted to do. What do you mean? You know, all we had to do was go get that cheese. No, all we had to do was just spend the resources right Look, now to I, survive I know and, and put all Jen, the traps. I know I can't roll dice. I never... I, you, well, of course, that's why I was going to roll them. Five ones in a row. Haven't you learned your lesson from that in the past? Like, I cannot be trusted to roll and hit anything. So this was all we had to get to. No, 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 no. We could have gotten this, and we, we could have protected both. We, we were didn't. at a perfect we time to protect didn't. both. We clearly didn't, Jim. Well, because you didn't let me play my game. You know what? You know what we're going to do? You know what we're going to do? 
I'm going to play this by myself. I'm going to record a camera. It could be with my phone. I don't care. I'm going to post it on Patreon. I'm going to show you how you win at this game. Oh, you're going to put it on? You're going to show the Patreon how you win yes. this game? I'm going to show you how you win Challenge this game accepted. with my strategy. Challenge accepted, sir. Same character, do, same place, same, everything. 100%. I'm down uh -huh. for this. Same location, same yeah. place, same win uh -huh. and loss conditions. Uh -huh. and I'll show you how to play this game You know correctly. what? Let's let's tip, take it up a notch. If sure. I win, you buy me my copy. That good? You okay with that? Okay, perfect. Excellent. By the way, are we still recording? Oh, we are. You heard it here, folks. He's going to get my copy because I'm going to win at this game. Thank you for watching. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Okay. Hey, guys. I kind of stole the cameras from Jesse. If you uh, recently watched our Rat Catcher gameplay, it didn't go so good. But I have a suspicion of why it didn't. It's because Jesse didn't let me play my game how I wanted to play it. So... I made a proposition. Uh, some words were said, some feelings were hurt, but I think we got somewhere really good.